What's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another SQL plus Python uh, tutorial video uh, and really my SQL plus Python tutorial video. Where we left off, I was just showing you guys uh, whether we could run this query here, select all, um, and this is kind of how we can communicate with our database via Python. Now, my goal here uh, is really to uh, finish up this little mini series here by connecting it to Twitter and we want to pull you know, the time, username, and their, that user's tweet, store that into the database. So moving along in that, uh, along those lines, uh, we need to make a few modifications to this code. So I'm going to leave this here because at the end of the operation we might as well print it out to see if it worked. So I'm just going to hit a couple of uh, blank lines here for us. And now, uh, since we're not hooked up to Twitter, let's just kind of make a fake connection here and just say that um, the variable we find is uh, username, because uh, we do split up the tweets and get the username anyway, so and the tweet. So eventually, uh, we do have this. Um, so if you have followed those Twitter tutorials, you, you can see how we'll connect it anyways. But we'll say the username is Python, and that user tweets... Um, Man, I'm so cool. Typical Python. Anyway, so the next thing that we want to do is actually execute and insert um, query. But we want this query to, to allow for these variables, right? So we want username and tweet to be variable. And we, only, we don't want to like have to change this query every single time, right? So we're going to do uh, c.execute. And we're going to use string formatting for it. So we're going to do c.execute. And what we're going to execute here is an insert query. So it's going to be insert into, and then your table name. In our case, it's Taola. And then we're going to specify uh, the columns that we're inserting into. So that's going to be the time column, the username column, and the tweet column. Then uh, we're going to say values, because that's the, what values do we want to put in there. And then within here, we're going to use percent %s, percent %s, and percent %s. Now in SQLite, it was question mark, question mark, question mark. And here, it's percent %s. So once you've done that, add a comma. And now we're going to add one more little variable here. Uh, and that's going to be the data. So we're going to insert one time dot time. So whatever, it, since this will be running on the server, it's going to be based on server time, uh, which is probably uh, GMT, but or UTC username and then tweet so time to time username and the tweet and it gets inserted then one more thing we do need to do uh, I'm not sure why the indentation is doing that I don't know if it's just this editor because uh, normally whenever you do it with an idle and you get this you're you know you've screwed up you haven't finished off your job but it, I think that all my uh, we got one two three four openings and we've got one two three four closing so we're, we're set I don't know why I guess that's just kind of like a glitch in their editor so now uh, we'll do con dot commit and this basically finishes the job so it's like you can consider this like as if you were writing into your text editor something con dot commit saves that right so this is there but if you exited out or you lost power, you would have lo you would lose it. So commit commits that, and then we're all set. And then we'll just go ahead and, and have it execute uh, all from uh, Taula. And I guess we'll we'll find out real quick if this is a valid query. Uh, I don't see any of the I don't see the error. Uh, I just feel like it would be kind of weird, it, like why it's uh, doing this to us. But anyway, uh, we'll hit save and run and see what happens. So um, let's do. It. Wait and execute. So execute is misspelled. So C dot execute. Okay, try again. Time is not defined. Man, we're just all over the place today, apparently. M for time. One more try. I feel like we're like still waiting to see if we got like the error that I think I have. No. Okay, so there is no error there. I guess it's just kind of an issue with the uh, their little IDE here. So uh, as we can see that 
we did get this to uh, insert into the database because there it is for us. Python, man, I'm so cool. Awesome, awesome. So that's how we can insert data. And now, obviously, the last thing to do is just add in the, um, the actual Twitter stream uh, and then maybe change the variables to match that Twitter stream. It'll pretty much be a copy and paste job. Uh, and then save and run and go. Uh, the only thing I suggest is, in case I forget to do it, um, I don't know how many seconds we even have left. Probably that's still okay. Yeah, we still have, you know, over, well, 96 and a half seconds. Um, but that Twitter stream, especially if you pick, you know, a pretty hefty word, I mean, you, you're, you're going to run through your entire 100 CPU allowance, like, instantly. They do have, like, like this kind of, like, backup tar pit that they call it, and so everything will just run really slow there. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. I'll, uh, I'll have to think of like a really like, or I guess we, we could just use like any word and then we'll just add like a timer to it. So, so I can just show you for example, and then I'll stop the script and it won't, you know, kill the CPU. Um, anyway, uh, so that's what we'll be doing in the next video is meshing it with Twitter and actually getting that to save these tweets to our database. Uh, again, I'm going to mention though, uh, you can't store tweets for more than 24 hours officially. Uh, it's not like they're going to just blow up, but y you can't do it. So <laughs> that's my little warning to you guys. I'll warn you again uh, in the next video. So obviously you'd want to be able to do you know, whatever analysis or whatever you want to do within that 24-hour period and delete those tweets. Or uh, the better thing you can do is actually, as the tweet comes in, analyze the tweet and uh, do it that way. And that's, that's the way I do it. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about any, uh, any troubles and shenanigans. So, uh, anyway, so the next video, tying it to Twitter. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, the subscriptions, and until next time.